In this lesson, I will introduce vectors. We will see the basic difference between both vectors and scalars, and we will see the unique properties of vectors. That said, let's get into class. Like I said in the beginning, there are two types of quantities. We have scalar quantities and we have vectors. Why scalar quantities has no direction Vector quantities have direction. A good example of scalar quantity is a distance. But for vectors, we talk about displacement. Because we're talking about a particular distance in a particular direction. If I mention 50 kg, I say 50, if I mention 50 kilometers, I say 50 kilometers is due east, then I am talking about displacement. Another example we talk about speed. And the reverse of speed, when we begin to talk about its vector, is velocity. While speed might measure distance, rate of change of distance with respect to time, velocity will mention the rate of change. measure the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. Another example we could be thinking about is mass. And for vector quantity, we'll be thinking of it in terms of weight. Why? Because here we're talking about the mass in a particular direction. Now that said, how do we represent vector quantities? way to represent vectors is in magnitude and direction. Let's take for example if I have a vector in a two-dimensional plane. That is, it has two coordinates, coordinate y and coordinate x. Now, if I have a vector in this direction, I can pick two points on this line such that I have this as point A and point B. This tells me that I have line AB. That is, my line should start from point A and it ends at point B. If I have to take note of line BA, line BA will actually be the negative of line AB, that is minus line AB. Let's take a good example when it comes to direction and magnitude of vectors. Here I have, let's take a good example when it comes Let's take a good example to further understand how to pick directions and magnitude of vectors. If the vector AB A is the vector AB represented by the sides AB and AC of a triangle ABC, where D is the midpoint of BC, what vectors are represented by 1 BC, CB, and ED? Now, if you look at it carefully, we've been told that. BD, we've been told that D is a midpoint, that is BD and DC are equal. I'm now to find one, I'm to find BC. Now, to solve for this BC, you know, we've been given AB, AB, we've been given AB to actually be equals to A, and we've been given AC to be equals to B. Let's place their direction. Now we have to solve for BC. Now in solving for BC, what I want you to first take note of is my originating point. My originating point is at B. So my BC will actually come from BE plus AC. 
that is i'm going from b to c to come from b a to what a c now my b a will come from you know a b is equals to a that tells me that my b a will be the same thing as minus so that my BC automatically will come from minus A plus B. So that BC will be the same thing as B minus A. Now let's take another quick one. Which we have to look for CB. Now to solve for CB, we know that my CB will come from CA plus a b and given that a c is equal to b implies that my c a will be the same thing as minus b so that c b will be the same thing as minus b plus a so that this is the same thing as a minus b can you try your hand on a d I'll advise you pause this video and give AD a trial. Okay, that's it. To solve for AD, you see that AD will come from either AB plus BD or AC plus CD, whichever way you want to go about it. I can pick my AD to come from AB plus BD. So that AD now is the same thing as AB plus BD. Already we've gotten BC in our subsequent lesson. We got BC to be equals to B minus A. So that AD now will be the same thing as AB plus half BC because we're told that D is at midpoint. So that AD will be the same thing as AB is given as A plus half into B minus A. That is equals to A plus half B minus half A, which is equals to A, which is equals to half A plus half B. With this, I hope you understand how to work with both magnitude and direction of vectors. And next lesson, we'll take more examples. Thank you. See you in our next class.